France. Lille de France. The French right? general store. The French Here you general are, complete store. with your beret. Yes, my beret. <laughs> Je ne sais pas pourquoi. And uh, this, is a, this is a beautiful store. Your name is? I'm Joyce Barraway. Joyce, how are you? And my husband and I, Michelle Barraway, right. have this store. We opened just last year. Just last year, and how's it doing? Fine. Pretty well. And everything in the store is from France. Everything in the store is from France. Except okay. for me. Except you. <laughs> is your husband from France? Yes. See? All right. He's, okay. he's from Brittany. Aha. Uh -huh. There's some. Now, this is a very eclectic store. Absolutely. That's why we our subtitle is the French General Store. The French General Store. So I'm, what we're, we're thinking about is those last minute Christmas gifts, mm -hmm. you know? They're always for people who have everything or people we don't know that well that we want to get them something oh. nice. Well, so one this of the things that nice we're looking place. at here are models of actual pigeon houses in the pigeon southwest houses. of France. Uh -huh. They're used to, sh to house whole flocks of pigeons. Wow. Is Prices that Provence? Is that this is from Provence. Provence. And now you're looking at a very special item. They're called Santons. Uh -huh. It's a tradition that's hundreds of years old in the south of France. It starts originally with the nativity scene. Okay. And then all the local peasants come to see and to bring their presents. Uh -huh. So the biblical figures are all dressed in biblical costume. Right. And the local peasants who come to see the baby and to bring their presents are all dressed in 18th century Provençal costume. All right. They're made out of clay. Mm -hmm. They're all hand molded. Then they dry naturally. Oh, good. That's good. Right. Then they fire it. Mm -hmm. And then they start the long process of painting. Right. The hand painting on these is beautiful. And, and it's just a whole set? Each character, it's they are they're sold individually. Okay. And in fact, there's even a little dictionary. Uh huh. And it's in French and in English. Right. And it gives each character mm -hmm. and tells their story, who they are and why oh, they're cool. there. That, so that would be a really good present for someone that you, that you 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 know knew well uh, that you were going to see every year, kind of add to their collection. Either every for year someone to add to a collection, or also they're wonderful individually. Uh -huh. He's my favorite at the moment, the little fisherman uh -huh. <laughs> with his little fish on his knee. You can see his size with my fingernail. Oh, yeah. And I think that's his lunch there. Must be. So he's a freshwater fisherman, and mm -hmm. here's another freshwater fisherman. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, so the saltwater fisherman in the oh, back yeah. with his net. All right. Beautiful. I love the parish priest. He's mopping his brow. Uh -huh. So any of those individually, uh -huh. someone you know who's a fisherman. Sure, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Now these are interesting feather placemats. Do they have some kind of they have no French significance, significance at yeah, all? whatsoever, except that they're foolish and silly and fun. It sounds French to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but you have some beautiful, like really one of a kind, weird, I mean, the, like this, this basket is This we found in the phenomenal. Burgundy region of France, mm -hmm. and wow. it's an old grape harvesting basket. Right. It's the only one that we've been able to find in two years that's still in good shape. Right, and made from vines, obviously. It, yes, it's all the grape vines. Right. The and reason this we is, found um, out they're so hard to find is because they use them until they disintegrate. Right. And that's three hundred and fifty dollars, which for a piece like that I don't think is a lot of money. Now is this is this um th is this old? Is it actually from the nineteenth century? The factory that made this was bombed out in the First World War. I see. It's a factory uh, that was near the Rhine River. Mm -hmm. I see, right. Saw a lot of action. Right. <laughs> so do you go in, do you buy go over and on buying trips and we buy everything personally ourselves? Uh huh. Great. It must be really nice to have a business doing something that you love so it's much. It's been fun, yes. Yeah. And France is such a beautiful country, and it it's is. fun to share it. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we've been sharing is, um, just for the fun of it, we fly in on Federal Express the uh, Pam Poilin. It's the right. bread from the Poilin Bakery. Uh -huh. He's the most famous bread maker in France. Oh, really? Uh-huh. And the bread that we fly in looks just like this. Oh. It's a foolish pillow. Oh, a pillow, a bread. It looks pillow. just like the bread. Cool. Uh huh. And when do you have the bread now, or do you? When we does do it, it to come order. In? To order. And during the summertime, we bring it in once a week. And okay. this time of year, we brought it in for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. We'll probably bring it in for the holiday time. These are old classroom posters. Oh wow. They were designed in the 1880s when France started its system of public education. Uh huh. And these were printed in around the 1950s, but they're the original posters. For instance, le pain, which means bread. Mm -hmm. So 
the students would copy all the words, oh, so it's right. vocabulary and spelling. Mm -hmm. And then it would become science lessons, geography lessons, history lessons. It would all be wrapped around the, the story of the poster. And it's a lot about food, I can't help but oh, notice. A lot about food, yes it is. Very French. And, and these are the reprints of them. Uh-huh, oh yeah, right. Also, reprints. wine, mm -hmm. the bread once mm -hmm. again, cafe, coffee, cacao, which is chocolate, beer, beer. Mm -hmm. have the it. Alsatian mm -hmm. region, and olive oil. Beautiful. All right. Lots of one-of-a-kind uh, things, things for people's houses. The things uh, in the store are, for the most part, pretty unique. Mm -hmm. We try to carry more artisanal products. Right. That's beautiful. Family producers, and it's things that you won't find elsewhere in the United States. Right. Or some things are just too nice not to carry. For right. instance, we have some Limoges. Uh -huh. One finds oh, do Limoges you really? elsewhere uh -huh. in the United States, but right. we're not going to not carry it right. just because somebody else has it. Beautiful. Okay, well, thanks a lot for showing us around. This is, this is sort of the seat of Christmas year-round on Nantucket here. We're at uh, Nantucket Sleigh Ride, yeah. which is on India Street. This is still India Street? It's still India Street. Okay, I keep changing things around here. And you're Brendan? Yes. Okay, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi. Good to meet you. I watch and, the show all the time. Oh, thanks. And you, this this shop is Christmas. Yeah, this is all year round. Right? Yeah, all year round. And um, so this is obviously a great place to go for the Christmas gift. Yeah, we'll be here till three thirty on the twenty fourth. Three thirty on Christmas Eve. Right. Uh, what do you now? Everybody thinks okay, ornaments. You got ornaments. What else do you have? Uh, mostly ornaments, but mostly we do have um, a lot of like uh, Nantucket oriented stuff, uh -huh. Brand Point Lighthouses and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. That's great. Do you guys ship off island? Yeah, we yeah. do a lot of shipping. Is this the section where the nautical type yeah. stuff is? Okay. Yeah. Little figurines. Like these little Brand Point Lighthouses. Brand, they, these are really nice. And they're like, um, what do you call that? Uh, ceramic. Ceramic, yep. They say Nantucket on them. Mm -hmm. And these these go for what, twenty two ninety five. Yep. They're handmade, right? Handmade. Uh -huh. And painted and fired up. Very nice. Um, yeah, lots of Christmassy things. Have you got some uh, nutcrackers? Yeah. I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice one right here. With, uh, these are nice. They have a, on the, it's a decorative tannin on the lid. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the lid tannin. is what's yeah. actually uh, inside. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We have Christian Steinbeck and uh, Christian Wolfram. Uh -huh. Two of the uh, finer uh, German nutcracker makers. Wow. So these are the real thing. These aren't. Nope. So we'll see. Some of them are Oriental, but the majority right. of them are, are real good German ones. Beautiful stockings. Always. We always have some stockings. And these are beautiful. They're not like your run-of-the-mill. Oh, thank you. Christmas tree shops kind of stockings. We try not to. <laughs> and uh, beautiful the best stuff ornaments. is what Gino's heading right for. Gino's. What What do we What do we got here? That tree there. It's a, from a company called Christopher Radko. This one here? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, they're mostly Polish. Uh, some are German, some are Italian, some are Czechoslovakian. It just depends on the piece. They're gorgeous. He's been around for about 13 years now. He's getting like a rock and roll star. He'll go to different stores really? and uh, have like signing signing events. It'll uh -huh. do for charity. He'll charge like $25 to get your ornament signed. Uh huh. But then proceeds will go to benefit a local charity. So they're getting to be collectors' items, yeah. kind of thing, right? He retires about. He'll make about. This year he made about 700 different ones, and uh -huh. he'll retire about. Um, 35 percent. Wow. So they do become collectible. Yes, they do. Beautiful. Yeah, he does some licensed stuff. Some of them I'm able to carry, some of it's only available through Disney stores. Good to have. Now, are you the manager of the store? Yeah, my yeah. family owns the store. Your family owns the yeah. store. How, and uh, how did they come to up with this idea of having a Christmas My mom store? came up with the idea. She, yeah. They've been coming up here for about 20 years. Right. She wanted to get into business, and she just... Um, I noticed that Nantucket was one of the few places that didn't have a Christmas store. Yeah, they are really are gorgeous. Incredible! When you look at something like this, the devil's head, right? and it's an old German traditional thing, people would put it on their tree to remind them of what would happen to them if they were dead during the year. Oh, yeah? People what get scared are they when of? they see it. Are these made of... Uh, it's uh, a Pyrex glass. Pyrex glass? Yeah. So they're fairly tough? They'll hold up. Fairly rugged? I mean, you don't want to I'm be glad. bashing them around. They're fairly <laughs> I'm glad rugged, I have carpet right? in the store. That's uh -huh. why we have the carpet. You, yeah, you get a lot of kid, little kids coming and running in around. In the summer. Yeah? That you must, like, cringe when you see them coming <laughs> through the door. We and have you guys spray. are open year-round, right? Yeah. All year-round? I'll be closed uh, Christmas Day probably for about two to three weeks so we can do inventory. And right. We'll, we'll be open weekends. Wow.
Open weekends through the winter. Okay, great. we're at Craft Masters downtown, and your name is? David. David. Hi, David. You've been here Did for a long time right now. This is yep. the first time I walked in the store, probably 20 years ago you were here, I think. Right? It opened up in 1976. 1976. Wow. And you've got all kinds of different things in here. It's not just belts and uh, purses, is it? No. no. Shoes <coughs> and, and uh, clogs, I know, and all kinds of things. Um, now, if it... If I came in here, you know, at the last minute and I, I said, you know, my my sister's coming for Christmas, I gotta get her something and I wanna spend, you know, thirty dollars, forty dollars, what would you suggest? What would be a nice thing? Look at this. You know, all the jewelry in here is twenty five dollars. Right. That would, That's that would great. fit into that category. Uh huh. This is oh, a, this wow. is a great kind of thing, you know, for those people that you you wanna get them something nice, uh, but don't wanna spend a fortune. We got uh, everything in the case is twenty five dollars. Everything in the case. The yep. little baskets little, and everything. Little, little baskets. Wow, that's great. You see the baskets on the bottom there, Jim. Yep, I'll get them. Beautiful. Inside. You're a pretty dedicated uh, type of guy. I see you working constantly here. He, he works. You really lot. like your shop. Yep, like you get shop, a, a yeah. feeling like you really spend a lot of time on it. Did you decorate outside this year? Yeah, decorated outside. Yeah, you, you always, always do. Yeah. Oh, the outside of the shop always looks great, and the inside of the shop is beautiful. It always looks beautiful. Beautiful. So look at the leather coat. Yeah, really wow. beautiful stuff. Um, and briefcases, Christmas ornaments. These lights are pretty. Cool These are nice here, aren't they, Mike? Yeah. These are night lights. Is that they are? Yeah, night lights. Oh, porcelain, see. Porcelain night lights, twenty-five dollars. That's another nice reason, you know, nice gift. Nice Fairly sure. inexpensive yeah. gift. Um, and uh, these coats here, I've got a, one of these Outback raincoats. They're really nice. Le Handcrafted leather-covered animals for the horse lover in your life. Beautiful nice stuff. travel bags. Yeah. Case. case of jewelry. A lot of uh, southwestern style stuff. Not too much southwestern. The um. Uh, yeah, they still do a bit more at the southwestern. Right. Style. And the footwear. I know I've bought I've bought a lot of pairs of shoes here over the years. Um, and you you do a lot of clogs here, which I happen to be a fan of clogs. And uh, Birkenstocks, this is the, pretty much the place for Birkenstocks on the island. Yeah, and then these new handsome trash. Oh, yeah. Elk leather. Elk purple, leather. This feels, feel wow. that. It feels really nice. Wow, those are beautiful. And American bison. Mm -hmm. What, that's made of bison? Bison, yeah. Wow. America's original. Uh huh. Is yeah. that okay to do? Uh, I mean, aren't those, uh, aren't bison? They're raised for, for, uh, for. There's Eat. enough of yeah. them now? Yeah, they, they yeah. raise them on, in, on ranges. Right, right. I just saw so, on, on uh, 60 the Minutes last week, Ted it, Turner has a huge bison ranch. Millions of acres in the southwest. Uh, you know, leather. lower fat and... Right. And, uh, and nice leather, too. And, and they have to use the hide, so... Right. Just, they use and the these are... What, what about these animals here? This is beautiful. Is that real? That's rabbit fur. Yep. Rabbit fur? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. raised for food rabbit. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, slippers are always a really good idea for Christmas. Oh, yeah. The paint's actually melted into the glass. Wow. So it's totally permanent. Each lamp is signed and dated. And what does something like that go for? That's three six. That one there is three sixty five. Okay. So and many I, things, you know, in all price groups. Yeah. Hats are really big these days, yes, I know. Are. People are buying hats. You have a lot of hats. And I've had, David, a few belts made down here like you pick out a, a buckle and you guys will cut do the belt yep to yep, size make, and make the belt like right that. here in the back still right yeah. and another thing that i had made here which is a nice idea is a guitar strap i brought my guitar in and and we measured how long a strap i wanted and he made me a leather strap precisely that long with the holes cut so there was no adjusting and everything just put it on and it was a beautiful gift with my name on it and everything. So yeah, we can yeah. do custom work. So you too, can do yeah. custom work too. Little knives, a lot of scrimshaw around. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to come. And what's your uh, little gold, you know, water right? Water. And more <laughs> baskets. Mm -hmm. Hats again, but really big gloves. Here, yeah, here's some more unusual stuff. Yeah, I went over there, there earlier, but uh, you know, I really like these fish. Yeah, they're made by women in Colorado. Oh, they're beautiful. They're 395. Yeah. Those are 395. Very nice. Beautiful. And of course, a hip flask. 
you know, oh, to get you through the Nantucket winter. I need Always a new one a anyway. Idea. Um... Uh, wallets, things like that, you know. Yeah. People always need. Great. Well, thanks for talking to us, David. Okay. I'm sorry. What else? Let's see. What else we got? Okay. So here's our stroll. Okay. It's good to have this. He's got the fat. And uh, more at night. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'll be by. I'm gonna do a little Christmas night show. Great. And this is a second place, most original. Beautiful. Yep. And you do all this yourself, don't you? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. And how late are you going to be open uh, Christmas Eve day? Till, uh, well, we, are, we have our Christmas Eve drawing at 5 30. Oh, you have your own drawing? Yeah, we're oh, in the town. We, we're in the town drawing also. Right. right. We have our own drawing at 5 30. And how do people qualify for that drawing? You get tickets the same as the, uh, uh -huh. the town drawing. And what are the prizes? Uh, $5,000 shop. I mean, $500 right. <laughs> shopping spree, a $300 shopping spree, uh -huh. and a $100 shopping spree. Wow, I'm there. And how do you get tickets? Buying things at the shop? Yeah, every $50 purchase, you uh -huh. get one ticket. Great. Oh, that sounds great. I didn't know about that. Thanks a lot. Oh, okay. And we'll send people down, and you'll be here. Your drawing is Christmas Eve at 5.30. Yeah. And shopping all the way through to Christmas. Yeah. And are you going to be open year-round? We're open year-round. Year-round. Yeah. Great. All right, yeah. great. It's Gonna great to talk to, to you. Now, if you can yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Well, thanks a lot okay. for talking okay. to us, okay. David. Well, thank you. All right, okay. we'll see yeah. you later. Bye. Bye. Craft Masters of Nantucket. Great shop.